of course, I would say go for it. Um, and I'd say go for it for several reasons, and I would say there are several ways to go for it. Go for it because scientific publication needs reviewers. Um, it's always, or, or most of the time, it's the limiting factor. Actually, with, with emerging scientists, we have that very specific situations, situation where we actually have spontaneous um, applications. We have people running mails saying, I'd be interested in being a reviewer for emergent scientists. And we love that. And actually that makes most of our, most of my co-editors, when I tell them about that, about we have people applying to be reviewers in emergent scientists, they're actually pretty jealous. So that's something that I love. It means that we make people feel like being reviewers. I would say that not only does peer review require reviewers, but I'm convinced that reviewing papers is also a very enriching experience um, for the reviewer themselves. It's especially true for emerging scientists as we work with young researchers. So, so some of our reviewers are actually PhD students. PhD students already have experiences in writing papers, but getting to review them give them a totally different perspective on okay, this is how my own paper is being taken care of when I submit it to a journal. And understanding that really helps you write the next paper. So it's important for peer review publication to have reviewers, but it's also a very good training for reviewers to perform reviews. I guess one of the things that people might think is, I'm not good enough to perform a review, or I don't know enough things, or and I think that this humility is actually super important. I think if you get to review a paper and you feel this is out of my scope, it is extremely important to be able to say it and to say, look, for this one, that's, that's not my specialty here. I have to pass. Uh, and we're fine with that. I've got reviewers who, who did that and I have been very happy to work with them again because I know that if they say they can do it, it means they really can. So I would put more trust in someone who is able to say, I can't do it that time, than in someone who tried to do something um, and I would, I would see as editor that the review is not, is not convincing. How can you actually get involved? If you are interested in, in peer review and you don't really know if you could do something or how, how that really works, um, you can actually get in touch with the editor and say, I'm interested, can we, can we talk about it? And I invited um, PhD students to come and see how the um, editing interface would look like. And some of them decided to sign in for being reviewers afterwards. Some of them were interested in understanding how the whole thing worked from behind the curtain, but would be happy to, to just stop here. Um, so I would say if you're interested, if you're curious, you will always find people who would be happy to let you know more about the whole system and and just go for it. A peer, peer review uh, forms the cornerstone of trusted research outcome validation. This is our uh, th th this is the main idea behind and uh, uh, the the peer review process for scientific journals. Um, relies on the efforts of volunteer reviewers. Um, we understand that with so many demands on professional life uh, and, and pro professional time, the benefits of participating in peer review may not be obvious. And this is up to each journal to highlight the benefits. Um, I could say that uh, reviewers benefit by exposure to the latest development in their field, facilitating uh, their keeping up to date with the latest publications. Also, it should be considered as a lifelong learning process. The reviewer has to understand deeply the work other publication, compare with the state of the art and provide constructive comments that will help the authors to improve their work. Uh, the reviewer uh, has to provide solid arguments and should be in the position to defend his or her view objectively 
in case of contradiction with the authors. Therefore, the participation in peer review underscores that the reviewer is a respected expert with mature personality and tenure committees look favor favorably on this. In addition to this, I could point out that um, contacts made during the peer review process can lead to long-lasting collaborations. Overall, participating in peer review should be considered as an important part of career development and should be viewed as a critical component of advancement. Peer reviewer is somebody I choose among people I trust to, to build a reasonable review of, uh, of a manuscript. And I cannot, I mean, if I ask uh, somebody I don't know to make a review, somebody I don't know, I don't need to know the person personally, the, the, the guy, the, per, the, the fellow personally, but I need to trust his opinion or her opinion. And, uh, and this is, doesn't go through somebody writing me emails and put himself forward. But it goes through uh, scientific knowledge, uh, which uh, which I develop by. I mean, I when I read something, when I listen to people, I construct a list by, for myself, where I I try to attach names to subject in a way that then when I will search for reviewers. I cannot just use my, you know, think uh, a moment and decide to whom I send a paper. I need, uh, uh, sometimes I need to do some search. And uh, to do this search, this search, I need, I use my own, uh, I construct my own small database that help me in this search. It's not so obvious for us because we have a lot of proposal. We often receive some email. Uh, that say, okay, uh, please find uh, um, below my CV and I wish to help you to review paper. We, we Luis and I, receive such a kind of, of email, or that often happens, and uh, generally we send this information to the, to the, the editorial board and the name are added to a set of names. And then uh, this depend, it depends, of course, on the, the associate editor who uh, chooses the referees, the peer reviewer, and uh, names are taken or not. In, fine, in fact, I don't know. I, I, did, I never take time to, to go and to see that. That I know is the uh, associate editor generally choose people they who are known in the field, in the uh, appropriate field. They are known because they already publish themselves. Uh, nice result, nice paper. They are recognized because they are they are leading uh, some uh, some contracts, some they have some administrative position in that field also. So they are, are known because of that. If I wish to discover new talent, to help the journal, I need to be in the field. So I would, I would advise uh, young scientists to be recommended by a senior scientist to to enter in the system, and this will be very very helpful. But this is uh, to review to review a paper is a job, and uh, generally young young scientists are not um, are not. Uh, uh, um, able to do it, they are starting in their life. I think normally we need at least 10 years of research to be able to review a paper. This is, it, it depends also on the field, uh, on the scientific field. But I will, my advice will be to be, uh, to be uh, nominated by some senior scientists.